sapatão, larica de informação, reimpada a nossa cultura bem guardada. Hello, I'm Ethan Nadelman, I'm the founder and executive director of the Drug Policy Alliance, which is the leading organization in the United States advocating for the end of cannabis prohibition and for more sensible drug policies. You know, I've been asked about the role of the growing number of cannabis magazines and websites and their role in the broader movement of reform. I think they're playing an increasingly important role for many reasons. First, the production of professional materials on the internet, hard copy publications, shows a level of professionalism, of seriousness, about both the movement to end prohibition as well as the emerging industry. I think secondly, they're an incredibly valuable source of information. If one wants to look at the impact of the failed marijuana law in my country, the first place one looks is at the cannabis publications. If one wants to know about the internal debates or discussions among people involved in the cannabis legalization movement, that's the first place that one goes. If one wants to understand all of the issues that are emerging as the United States evolves from marijuana prohibition to medical marijuana to hopefully a world in which marijuana is legal, that's the place that one looks. So in many respects, they are the leaders in educating people about marijuana and also a source of information for the mainstream publications that educate the broader public. Among the many sites, one that I'm aware of is Hempadome, which is playing a role in Latin America, equivalent to what is happening in the United States and Europe. With pot marijuana,